everyone, and welcome to Discovery Days with the Oklahoma Hall of Fame and Gaylord Pickens Museum. We want to take a quick moment to say thank you to our sponsors with the Chickasaw Nation and the Inasmuch Foundation. Thank you all so much for joining us, and we can't wait to get started. All right, so this is our museum located here in Midtown, Oklahoma City. We love this museum and love that we get to share with all of you. We have lots of fun new programs and exhibits coming your way in 2021, so um, stay tuned for those. Our mission is to tell Oklahoma's story through its people, so every day we work really hard to share the inspiring stories of Oklahomans with all generations because we believe that Oklahomans are changing the world. So our inspiring Oklahoma story today is Mr. Joseph Richard Taylor. He was a professor at the art, uh, at the, in the art department at the University of Oklahoma and was one of the nation's greatest sculptors. His work was exhibited across the U.S. in major museums and in private collections. And Taylor was most well known for his sculptures of animals, among other things like memorials and, and like in this picture, people. So you can see him here with his chisel and sledgehammer um, kind of chipping away at the sculpture. So he's a fun story that we get to share and we're excited that we get to do it. So speaking of animals, we're going to jump right in with our story today called May Finds Her Way, the story of an Iditarod sled dog. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and share this so you guys can see my story and read along with me. All right, so May Finds Her Way, the story of an Iditarod sled dog. May is happy today. She is going to run a long, long way. May is a sled dog, but not just any sled dog. May is an Iditarod sled dog. The Iditarod is a dog sled race across the big state of Alaska. May and her friends will put their sled from will pull their sled from Anchorage to Nome. They will run over tall mountains, icy plains, and through thick forests and roaring rivers. May is proud to be chosen as an Iditarod sled dog. May has friends to help her. May's friend Ajax is the strongest dog on the team. May's friend Breeze is the fastest dog on the team. May's friend Juno is the wisest dog. She is the leader. May wants to be strong, wise, and fast too, but she is very small. The sleds line up at the starting line. Bang, goes the starting gun. Hut, mush, hike, let's go, says the, says the sled driver. May and her friends are on their way. May is happy to be part of the team. She loves to help pull the sled over the snow and splash through the streams. The sun will follow them for many days as May and her teammates run the Iditarod Trail. May and her team run all day until the sun disappears behind the mountains. The dogs and the sled driver rest. May curls up with Breeze to stay warm. Ukbik, the big snowy owl, watches over them. You guys can see the owl here. All right. The March moon tracks across the sky and the northern lights dance over the Iditarod Trail. In the morning, the team is ready to go. Pull harder, May, Ajax says as they cross broad streams. May pulls hard. Her small body strains against the harness. Run faster, May, Bree says as they climb, climb steep mountains. May stretches her legs to keep up with Bree's. Ha, this way, Juno calls, leading the team around a steep, slippery turn. May's team runs fast to catch the team ahead of them. Pull, Ajax barks. Catch them, Bree's calls. Stay steady, Juno warns as the sled slips sideways. We're too close. Crash, it is too late. The two sled teams collide. The harnesses are tangled. The dogs bite and snarl. Soon all the dogs are fighting. All the dogs except for May. May does not want to fight. May wants to run. May slips away from the fighting sled dogs and runs and runs. May runs away from the growling and the snarling. May runs away from the shouting of the angry mushers. May runs a long, long way deep into the forest. Uckbick follows May. May stops. She listens. It is very quiet. Woof, May barks. No one answers. Woo, 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 May cries. She listens for Ajax or Breeze or Juno to answer. The forest is silent. May is all alone. What will May do now? She is afraid. May thinks about Ajax and Breeze and Juno. How will she find her way home without them? She isn't strong or fast or wise, and she is lost. But May loves to run. She has already run a long, long way. May will be strong like Ajax. May will be fast like Breeze. May will follow the Inuksuk light marks the trail like Juno thought, like Juno taught her. This sign right there. Maybe May can find her way back home along the Iditarod Trail. May starts running. She runs through a river. The freezing water hurts her feet. May keeps running. May runs over steep mountains. She loses her warm boots on the rocky trail, but May keeps running. May runs and runs until she is too tired to run anymore. She stops to rest. Her empty tummy rumbles and growls. She hears a wolf howl. He sounds hungry too. May is afraid, but she cannot give up. May knows Ajax and Breeze and Juno will be waiting for her at the end of the trail. 
waiting for her at home. It is night. May is lonely, but the forest animals watch over her from the trees. She curls into a very small ball and sleeps, dreaming of her warm bed and the salmon she will eat once she is home. When May wakes, she looks for the Iditarod Trail, but it is gone. Oh, oh, May cries. Woo, woo, Uckbeck answers. I can help you find your way, May. Follow the Inuksuk. May begins to run. She runs until she sees the Inuksuk and a woman with kind eyes sitting beside a snow machine. May, where have you been? The woman asks. Everyone is looking for you. The woman wraps May in a warm blanket. You have run a long, long way. You have been very brave and strong. You are a smart little dog and I will take you home. May and the woman arrive in town to a big welcome. Hooray for May. Everyone is happy to see May. Children pat her. The newspaperman takes her photo. Ajax and Breeze and Juno are happy too. When you, we knew you would find your way, they say. Happy but tired, May curls up in her warm, soft bed. May, the Iditarod sled dog, has found her way. May goes to sleep dreaming of racing another day. All right. Well, what a fun story about May, the Iditarod sled dog, who made sure that she found her way home. So now we're going to jump in and make our craft. It's going to look a little bit like this. We're going to make our own penguin craft and stick with those, those cold weathered animals. All right, so the first thing we're gonna need is our black piece of paper and our blue piece of paper. And I'm gonna dump out my craft kit here. All right, so I've got some cotton balls and um, I'm gonna set those aside for now. And I've also got some googly eyes and an orange triangle and a white circle. So the, I'm also gonna need scissors and a glue stick. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace my hand. So pull this up here, I'm gonna trace my hand. And I'm using a black crown because believe it or not, I can see it on this, but a white crown would also help. So after I trace my hand, I'm gonna cut it out and that is gonna be the base of our penguin. I'm gonna go ahead and round mine out here, just like that. All right, so I'm gonna cut my hand out here. And that is going to be the body of our penguin. And if you need help cutting this out, make sure you ask a grown up for help instead of, I don't want you, I don't want anyone to accidentally cut something else. So make sure you ask a grown up for help if you need to. Right. So after I cut this out, I'm gonna go ahead and glue it down so I go ahead and then I'll glue it down and this will be the body of my penguin and then I'll be able to add the rest. All right, so now I've got my hand ready to go. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue my hand down. I'm going to go ahead and round this out a little bit more here. There we go. All right, so I'm going to put glue all over the back of my hand, and then I'm going to glue it down onto my piece of paper. Okay. So I'm making sure to put glue all over each one of the fingers. Um, and then of course around the edge too to make sure it sticks really well. So I'm gonna put it a little bit towards the bottom, not all the way at the bottom though, just like that. And then I'm gonna take my white circle here I'm gonna glue it down just like that. So I'm gonna scoot it down a little bit. I've gotta have room for the rest of my penguin's face. All right, so I'm gonna take my beak and I am going to actually fold my beak a little bit here. So I folded it just a little bit, kind of like that. You can kind of see. And I'm just gonna put glue on this part right here. That way my penguin has a beak. And then I'm just gonna Fold it down like that, and now he has a full beak. Okay, now I need my googly eyes. One there. And one 
Okay. All right. Now my penguin has his face. So my, my last step is I'm gonna put glue down here at the bottom for, I've gotta put some snow down because penguins like the snow, right? Okay, so that's all I need my glue stick for. I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside and I'm gonna take my snowballs or my cotton balls that will be snowballs and I'm gonna stretch them out a little bit and then I'm gonna lay them down on here. All right, so this is making my snow. And I just stretch them out a little bit so that way it's like big fluffy snow instead of just really tight snowballs. Although I suppose our penguin could be having a snowball fight, right? If you wanted to, you could even take one of the cotton balls and just glue it in his hand and give him a snowball. Okay, so there is my penguin. I'm gonna stop sharing so I can hold this up and show you guys. So here is my penguin. You can take crayons or colored pencils or whatever, and you can draw all the way around it and draw some snowflakes or anything else that you want. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I've had so much fun with all of you. I can't wait to do it again. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.